Well, I'd take you with me, guys, but uh, you can't drink caffeine. It's generally not good for your bodies. They don't want me to leave. Oh! $36. Not bad. Not awesome, but not bad. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this tree as we drive by, but it's starting to explode with color. I mean, beyond the green. A little bit of red. And when I record this drive in a few more weeks, you're going to see a dramatic difference. Seattle is so colorful. Shoot, lens cap's still on. I think I may have stumbled upon a new tradition driving to Pete's Coffee here. <clears throat> this American Life was being broadcast on NPR and it's my favorite program of all time. Like, I've never listened to a bad episode. You'd, you'd think that I would only want to watch or listen to geeky things, but no. I would say This American Life is the pinnacle of programming and, and storytelling. That's one big stack of pumpkins! They must be out of their gourd to put so much out. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah, probably not. We've been having Seattle weather. Really? Yeah. You know, I don't think it's the start of the year. Well, the day I got here, it was, I mean, the next day, it was, it was like really hot and sunny, and then after that, I just, we were raining. Also, it rained all day yesterday. All day today. It's in you, and you take it with you wherever you go. I know. We're leaving here about 2.30, so we're going to have to get up early tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be hot and sunny for the next few days. Yeah, we're going to have to get up early tomorrow morning. Yeah, we had some bandwidth oh, issues. Oh, I see. saw that. From Adrian Pontarolo in Australia. Wow. It's a ways away. Woohoo! Got me some mini figs. All right, series four. Seven of them. Sweet! Where are all these red leaves coming from? One of our guests likes to take care of plants, so I thought I would get a gift for her. These are Chinese lanterns. I'd never seen them before in my entire life. And then they had them outside the grocery store the other day, and Diana and I kind of remarked, like, those are kind of neat. They could be easily squished. Like, you can see this one's kind of like collapsed upon itself. Uh, it's air inside. Those aren't fruits. I've just spent the past hour or so cleaning up around the house. Well, not really around the house, just primarily the kitchen, the library, and what is this room, Pixie? It's like the den. You're helping me dust. Good girl. Look at you gonna get in on the action too? I appreciate it. Thanks guys. Team effort. You finish the rest. How's that sound? Can you believe it? 142.4! Of course, my body fat percentage could stand to go down a bit. Oh, and the other number that's flashing? That's how many calories it's telling me to eat. I have a tool because I need to assemble this over-the-door mirror. We've had it for a few months. Diana wanted a mirror in the closet, like a full-length mirror. And originally, I thought we would hang it here, but then I looked at the cardboard that was, uh, well, around the mirror until I took it off, and it said it's an over-the-door mirror. And indeed, there are the hangers. Yeah, look at that. It only cost 10 bucks. In preparing for Diana and our guest's arrival, I'm going around cleaning up, well, a bit more, just nipping and tucking, really. 
uh, and replacing all the bug traps, which I'm very happy to say didn't have a whole lot of bugs in them, although depressed to say there weren't a lot of spiders in them either. We're mostly collecting like dust and random debris and fuzz and Diana's hair. I'm surprised she's not bald. Not that I would mind. I think Diana would look hot bald. Kind of like that chick from the original Star Trek, the motion picture movie. Hey, you guys stay out of the Chinese lanterns. Pixie, you're not Chinese. Go. I miss Diana. Well, just a few more hours. I mean, she'll be back by this time tomorrow. I miss her for more than just, you know, the fresh food she cooks, too. Food's a big part of it, though, the whole missing thing. I got my press credentials for CES! Ha ha! Yes! Now all I need is a sponsor. That, that might be the hard part. I got on eBay again. Needed to take a look around to see if there were any new kinds of non-sport cards that reminded me of Garbage Pail Kids, and indeed, there were, or are, I guess there were only two series made of something called Serial Killers, and uh, I, I got them for, I thought, a rather amazing rate, and so this will give you an idea about the kind of things that I like to collect. Apple Drax, what does that say? Crete and Crunch? <laughs> Quipped, oh. Let's see here, twin grain, it's a little weird. Catacomb, see instead of honeycomb. Brewberry, there we go. Just recorded and uploaded the iPhone 5 versus iPhone 4S video test and minutes after doing that, guess what showed up on the doorstep? Uh-huh, a brand new Samsung Galaxy S3, baby! I'm gonna unbox this thing uh, live on YouTube, although by the time you watch this vlog it may have already been live unboxed, which just goes to show you, you should be following me on all the social networks. You gotta pay attention, guys. The world doesn't stop just because you're not watching. I uh, am going to upset Diana right now by heading off and getting some sushi for dinner. <laughs> of course, maybe she won't watch this vlog and she won't be upset. I won't go out of my way to tell her if you don't. I'd appreciate the support, guys. Please. We're buds, right? Right? I had this really amazing roll. It was salmon and avocado and carrot wrapped in cucumber, no rice. Uh, the problem was it had avocado in it and my OAS <laughs> really kicked in. That's oral allergy syndrome, so my throat is itchy and my ears are itchy. I don't think I'm going to go into anaphylactic shock or anything. I hope not. I don't look puffy to you, do I? That is a big ass moon. As opposed to a big ass moon. <laughs> the car is warning me because my groceries haven't buckled up. Thanks, car. You're awesome. It's time to zone out. I have to step away from the computer screen. Otherwise, I'll continue to work. Even though I mix work with fun, and they're kind of one and the same for me, uh, I have a tendency of just getting sucked in to what the internet has to provide. It is a treasure trove, a never-ending source of awesomeness. But it's one of the reasons why I gotta step away and sit in front of programming, you know, scheduled stuff. Because otherwise, there's just too much I've gotta do. Well, I don't have to. I want to! Time for the PJs. I couldn't help myself. Pixie barked at me until I came to bed. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks for sharing, commenting, and liking all our videos.